here with Jim Gist, Vice President Hospitality for Control 4. Well, welcome, Jim. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So tell us a little bit, how do you like the show so far? Well, yeah, it's the first day. Legs don't hurt so bad yet, but uh, we're, I'm sure by the end of Thursday, my legs will be killing me. But it's always a great show. It's uh, get to meet all the, the different partners out there, both existing and uh, new potential partners, and show the latest technology. I understand you're announcing some new things here at the show, so I'm going to stand over oh, here sure, sure. so I can get you. And um, so, why don't you tell us a little bit about the announcement? The new what is it called? Concierge service. Yeah, concierge connections and digital compendium. Essentially, what we do is we offer a complete door to drape solution that can automate any type of hotel, from a Motel Six to a city center in Las Vegas. And the solutions are 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 modularized, so the hotel can pick just what's right for them. So from on a control aspect, the, the, the hotel can take advantage of those high-definition TVs they're putting in and give the guests simple control with one remote of all the audio and video and multimedia functions. You know, the guest uses their laptop or their iPhone. But they also extend out and now give the guests control of, of things uh, like lighting and thermostat. So if I'm lazy, which you know I, I have a few extra pounds, so I am, I'll lay in bed. And if I want to control the thermostat, I can go there. Instead of going to my thermostat in the wall over here, I can now have a display on the screen that will show me what's going on and what the temperature of the room is. And if I, you know, if I want to turn the cool on, it'll now turn the cooling on, and it communicates wirelessly with the thermostat. So you're using your little controller. Here. Yeah, it's a, it's a wireless remote control that controls all everything in the room from my DVD player to my lighting to my air conditioning to my drapes. And my 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 pet peeve is is the wake up. I travel way too much, and I always wake up to somebody else's alarm clock settings. Well, this will allow me to set my alarm clock to wake up the TV or the music, and conversely, a sleep timer, so I can, say, fall asleep to a nice view but not wake up the bright sun. And then we have the green settings that allow the, the hotel and the guests to opt into a, a green profile so it's a more energy-efficient room. And it, that really makes, you know, allows the hotel to promote their green uh, initiatives and allows the, the guests to feel good that they're doing the best to reduce their carbon footprint. Tell me a little bit about that. Who actually sets the business rule for what the green setting is? Each property is a little different. Each property has different initiatives around green. So the property sets what it ha what it does. One property might say, if you opt into this, we'll only change your towels every other day. One property might say, it's a linens and towels. One property might say, all that plus energy setbacks so that the room is a little bit warmer or a little bit cooler depending on the time of year it is. Is this a criteria that you give them to kind of follow as they're setting up the system? Uh, it, it, we leave it open because every every it, it, I'm not going to dictate to a property what you know what their green initiatives will be. We give them the tools to do it, and it's easy to modify. So if it's something today, it can be something different. Really excited about our new concierge connection digital compendium software. This brings many things into the hotel room. So traditionally, hotels will print these nice elaborate books in the rooms, but the minute they do that, it's not only you know uh, uh, hurts the environment because there's a lot of paper, but they're also obsolete. So this gives the hotel a dynamic portal to have up-to-date menus and, sp and spa information and other hotel events like golf and, and restaurant information, but also extends out and use the power of the internet to uh, give the guests the ability to go to open table or see some of their other uh, information like from Flickr or from Twitter or from Facebook right in the hotel room. So it brings a piece of the, the hotel or your, your personal life right to the hotel change up the menu and have a special, I can go and look at, you know, what the, the special salads are today, and then I can go order it. So how do you think concierges uh, in the property are going to take to this well, being automated? Yeah, you know, if we're not trying to get rid of the concierge, they definitely have a great a great role. We think we enhance their current role because there's only typically one or two on a property. And if guests need multiple things happening, we can even have a button that says request a concierge for personal service. And so this is something the concierge can work with and update, and then, and then it's an extension of them. Couldn't the concierge also track who's going to what restaurants and so on? Absolutely. So we we have the whole event management side, and the system takes, takes advantage of that, and you can track all that information from the property level. Is this your own system then that you've, uh, this is your software system, right? Absolutely, yeah. Our development partner at ICON, we have an exclusive relationship with them, and they develop all the concierge uh, software and digital compendium services. How long has it been in the works? This has been in the works uh, about eight months, I guess, and we just launched it. We're very excited about it. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you for sharing with us.